<laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to take this information, right? And if I said, for instance, what's the probability if I, you know, put everyone's names in a hat and draw a name out, what's the probability that I pick out a boy, right? Or pick out someone who is, is there anyone here 15? So we're all 13, yeah? We're 13 or 14, right? Or is anyone younger than 13? Anyone? 12 Yeah, <laughs> okay, all right. So I'm interested in what these probabilities might be. Okay. So for instance, what's easy to see already on the board is the probability of picking out someone who's 14 years old in the class <coughs> eight, eight, eight. is 8 out of 23. You see that? Okay. Favorable events, 8, divided by the total possible events, the, what's it called again? Starts with an S? Sample, Sample space, very good, out of 23. Okay, so that's fair enough. But I can ask more interesting questions here, right? That what's on the board will not necessarily help me with. For instance, what's the probability that I'll pull out um, someone who is 14 and also a girl at the same time, right? That information is not there on the board, okay? We have the information here in the class, but we haven't got it put down there, right? So we're going to use this tool, draw for me a little box, make it roughly twice as wide as it is tall and in our box what we're going to do is we're going to place two overlapping circles oh, that diagram. okay so some of you recognize these right and the heading you can make is Venn diagrams John Venn was a British if I remember correctly a British mathematician who was trying to illustrate Relationships between different things when there are different qualities that they can have, different qualities they can have at the same time, or they can have neither of those qualities. Okay? So, question. Wait, pause. Is it about this? Yeah. Go on. When this guy invented the Venn diagram, did he have good ventilation? <coughs> oh my gosh. If if I was if I was if you were one of my employees, I would fire you right now. Okay. All right. Now, to illustrate the way the Venn diagram works, okay. This big box, this big box, is everyone in the class. Okay. So let's just label it class. Okay. Inside this space, I'm just going to put numbers that correspond to how many people belong in each of these different spots. For instance. 14 years old, I'll make that our left-hand circle over here. So, 14 years old. That's what our left-hand circle is about. That circle is going to include the number of people who have who are that age. And then over here on my right-hand side, I'll have the uh, girls' circle. Okay? So you can see, if I wanted to, I could put down all the names of people here, but it would get pretty crowded pretty quickly. Okay? So I'm going to avoid doing that. Let's now go from this way, right in the middle here, right? Can you see that this spot I have my finger on is the overlap between the two circles? So if there's a number in there, these people are both girls and 14 years old at the same time. Does that make sense? So hands up, 14 year old girls. How many do we have? One, two, two, perfect. Thank you, hands down. So let's all put two there in the middle, okay? That's the size of that set of people. Once I've got that, I can start to fill out logically the rest of this diagram. Think about it. For instance, over here, I've counted two of the people who are 14 years old already. Which means that if there are eight in total, how many are left over? There are six. So I'm going to put them here. They're outside the girls' circle, but they are 14, so they're still inside the 14-year-old circle. And by the same logic, how many people do I have here? I have seven girls who are not 14 years old. By the way, one of the great things about this is that this Venn diagram it illustrates for us complements, which was that idea we said before, right? For instance, here is the, uh, the girl's circle over here, right? The complement of the girl's circle is everything outside the circle, right? It's just not girls, okay? Now, there's one number missing, one number missing, because if you add this up, 6 plus 2 plus 7, at least if I'm counting correctly, it looks to me like you get 15. Right, 15? But I know there are 23 people in the class because we counted many times. So where are those missing eight people? So, but like the, the remaining people outside the circle. Yeah, that's right. 
These eight people are neither girls nor 14 years old, so they can't be in either of these circles. They have to be outside. They're still in the class, right? So I can see if I add all of these up, I should get my 23. So let's just quickly, before we leave off this, and if you have another color, this will be easier for you. Let's label what each of these numbers are so we know what's going on. This six, we'll go from left to right. Six means you're 40 years old, but not a girl. 14 years old, but not a girl. Okay, now I'm deliberately trying to say not a girl because I'm trying to get that compliment language happening, right? The categories I've got are slightly different. Like here it's a bit easier to say, oh, 14 or not 14. But it just might be that people are like, you know, different ages apart from 13, right? So I don't want to say 13 or 14 because it might be something else. Up here in the middle, those two people are 14 years old and a girl. Okay. Uh, I could continue this pattern. The seven means not 14. And a girl. And then, of course, our last eight. These are the people who are neither 14, not 14, and also not a girl. Okay, so we've got some language here, right? By the way, you can see I've put in capitals these, um, these words here, not, and, not, and, not, not, okay? They're really important to wrap your heads around. There is one last important word that I want to get across to you before we leave it because it's not on this diagram, which is the word or, okay? So see here, when I say 14 years and a girl, right? What that means is it's got to be in this overlap spot, okay? If I say, on the other hand, 40 years old or a girl, right? Then you can be here, obviously, but you can also be here, right? Because that means you're meeting one condition but not the other. Or in the same way here. So how many people are 40 years old or a girl in total? Looks like it's all 15 of these people here, right? Does that make sense? Because if I ask any of these groups, are you 14 or a girl? They should say yes, because there'll be one or the other. Only these guys outside, literally the guys outside, okay, do not meet those conditions. All right. So this is a Venn diagram. Now, underneath this Venn diagram, I want you to draw a smaller one, still a rectangle, but it's going to be very, very simple, this one. Because you'll notice, I have this overlap in here, and it just so happens I have two people, okay? But if, Delene and Courtney weren't here today, right? Then there wouldn't be anyone in this overlap area. There will be no one who's 40 years old and a girl at the same time. So our diagram would look a little bit different. It would look like this. There's no overlap, do you see? Right? I've got 14 years old and I've got girls. And I would still have the same numbers in all those other spots, right? If Dolly and Courtney weren't here, I'd still have six, I'd still have seven, and I'd still have eight. But I'm missing those two because they're away, okay? As an important um, bit of language, which I want to um, help you understand to see sets of um, people like this, these are called mutually exclusive. Mutually exclusive. Um, exclude means like, you know, take it away. Mutually means if you're 14 years old, you can't be a girl. And if you're a girl, you can't be 14, at least in this particular class. Okay? I forgot to say class. So these two groups of people mutually exclude each other. Alright? You can't be both at the same time. Now, you can see we can use this to ask any combination of questions. For instance, if I ask you, now what's the probability of picking someone who is a 14 year old girl? That's going to be these people here. Two out of what? Two out of what? 23. It'll be two out of 23, right? I could ask another question, right? I could say, of the boys, of the boys, what's the probability that I pick someone who is 14 years old? Now, pause for a second. This one's a bit trickier. When I say, of the boys, that means I'm no longer considering the girls as part of the equation. Does that make sense? So how many people are boys in this diagram? Eight. 
It's going to be 14, isn't it? And the way I know is because it's the complement, the complement of 9. 14 is all the rest of them, right? So 14 is now my new sample space, right? Because I'm not worried about the rest. So how many people are 14 among just the boys? Six. It's going to be 6 out of 14. Okay, so you can start to change the numerator, your favorite length, you can start to change the denominator, which is the sample space, based on whatever combination of these and language is there in the question. So read really carefully, okay?